My name is Ian Newby. I'm for my sins. I'm the senior project manager um, for Cormac Contracting Limited. I'm currently based down at Hallam Beagle, but Seaton Seawall is going to be one of my projects. Well, as everybody knows, that we had some significant storms in January, February last year. Most of those are the really bad ones, uh, including the tidal surge in February last year. Those storms were of, a, were of a, an intensity that managed to cause a lot of damage around the Cornish coast to the um, uh, main primary seawall defence infrastructure. Areas like Port Leven got hit, Port Trees got hit. Um, all around the county. This one was a significant storm surge with a wind direction that actually um, exacerbated the situation and the waves actually managed to breach the main sea wall even at this top end of the beach. There's a, a design in place at the moment to remove all of the existing masonry wall and concrete wall, uh, replace it with a um, steel sheet piled wall with a capping beam and a masonry parapet and reinstate the parking area. This uh, work is going to be ready for the summer season, fingers crossed. The proposal date is the 23rd of this month. Um, we anticipate around about a 10 to 12 week construction period. But as we finish and as we let areas of the beach back to the public, um, we can actually work and open certain sections of the lower section of the wall anyway. Um, the, beach isn't, the beach isn't closed at the moment, it's open to the public. It's no, there aren't any significant safety issues. When we actually uh, have to undertake the work, there's a big piling rig that will come in. There'll be some heavy construction machinery. We will have to close elements of the wall off to the public while we actually physically do the work.